Welcome back to Sonic Free and Knuckles. Cheer, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> a dignified start, as always. <laughs> Is it, is it, Tom, is it too late for us to change the official name of Hellfire Comes to Yeah Buddy? <laughs> yeah Buddy commentaries. No, no, just, no, no, Tom, Tom, just Yeah Buddy. We'll get back to Yeah Buddy. I thought it was <laughs> Chair Buddy. Yeah, it's Cheer Buddy. Uh, I love, I love the That's image of the, of the death egg in, in a scene like that. It's geniuses. Now, I did say there weren't going to be any bonus stages, but well, I guess I had to show some off, because as you can see, I'm You cruel. lying piece of shit! <laughs> Where are, where are you? The South Pole. You sound really far away. Oh, that was um, that was actually Ben in Sega of Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, please tell me, please tell me you didn't just come in here so you could get enough rings to become hypersonic to defeat Knuckles. Fuck you! Are you that bad at this game? You need hypersonic to defeat Knuckles, the easiest boss in this franchise's history. Well, you know, I like to think of it as bookending the Sonic and Knuckles rivalry. You know, we arrived here at Angel Island, he took the Chaos Emeralds, knocked me out of Supersonic, I take the Emeralds back, I go hypersonic, I beat the ever-loving shit out of him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Now, from the story in the background, you, you get certain things like in um, that that stone tablet is kind of referenced, kind of again in, in SA One and in manuals in like Sonic Battle, where it talks about that Gerald Robotnik designed the design of Shadow based off Super Sonic. Oh no! Without the power of the Master Emerald, they all become grey. Uh, Eggman, give Knuckles back his Master Emerald. I've got work tomorrow. Whoa! Well, I'll just believe it now. Actually, no, now that I think about that, in the Sonic Advance 2 manual, they said back in the day they were going to make a, a, a boss with a flaming skull or something, and they rejected it because they said something like, oh, that's just something you don't show. You don't show Sonic Skeleton, but it, you can show Knuckles. Because <laughs> at this point, no one gave a shit about Knuckles, and kind of true to their word, to this day, Sega don't really give a shit about Knuckles, so nothing's changed. Okay, and... uh. Welcome back to Hellfire Comms, where we go to the Sky Sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> I will say, this image of the Death Egg Rising, like, these, these Egg Robos look massive by comparison now. Because the size of the Death Egg is, they look like fucking like giants compared to the Death Egg, look at it. And when you see them, oh, well, they're just barely taller than Sonic. <laughs> yeah, buddy, they're, they're growers, not showers. Yeah, buddy. If you actually ducked at a certain spot next to Knuckles right there, he would wave Sonic and Tails off, like, Go, go without me! Oh, really? Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I got no time to stop and wait for character animations. Gotta go fast. It, th this is kind of the, the, the second moment in Sonic's playthrough of this game that I just... When the first time playing it, I just assumed I've left Knuckles for dead. <laughs> yeah, buddy, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Yeah, buddy commentaries. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Tom, Tom, please, please change the name. I like how these structures, they've just been like floating in the sky, just waiting for Sonic to jump on them so they could fall apart and fall. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Now, I know everyone hated the rehashed bosses in um, Sonic for Episode 1, but Sonic Team did it first. Fuck you, Sonic Team. Yeah, buddy. I love this. It's a great tribute to the first two games. Yeah, they did it so much better than Dimps would. Well, actually, you say that, but Dimps did something very similar in the end of Sonic Advance, which was pretty much pretty much like this. Before you fight the final boss, you fight two uh, machines from uh, Sonic 1 and, and Sonic 2. Yeah, buddy. And that was awesome. But in Sonic 4, it's just every single every single boss in the game. It's just a rehash. I like how Tom has, has used the Hyper Slash Super Sonic to destroy every pointless boss in, in this game, but not the, you know one of the most pointless bosses in the entire franchise, the Green Hill Zone boss. What was that with that, Tom? Yeah, buddy. Now, that one I can do without taking a hit. The one coming up, I have never <laughs> been able to do properly. So, so you, you, you can defeat the Green Hill Zone boss without taking a hit, but you can't defeat Knuckles without taking a hit. Boy, you suck. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> I like um, Sky Sanctuary, but if I was asked to rate like my top, say, five zones in this entire game, the level itself probably wouldn't reach my top five, but the music track might. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. And I love the remix they gave it in Generations, too. Yeah, the remix is pretty good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, buddy, to that. 
the the modern remix and generations that use of bass is so yeah buddy tastic it just makes you want to go yeah buddy i hate every single one of you especially you sky <laughs> what did i do just because the level's named after me you can't blame me for this <laughs> yeah this is where you go to hide after we're done berating you <laughs> i wish yeah, i buddy. <laughs> after we're done butt raping him is that what you said <laughs> wow. Steven, no. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> You're going to edit that out. Now, it, what's funny is that Tom did that last time. He's like, and, that, and then I had to edit out Steven making fun of a black man with a deep voice. I'm like, that defeats the purpose if, you, if you're going to say it anyway. <laughs> sure, buddy. And now you're going to now you're gonna edit out the, the, uh, the fucking... <laughs> Oi, you're going you're gonna to edit out the fucking joke about the butt rape. Talk about Mechasonic. I'll smash your face in. I swear on me mom. Yeah, buddy. Now, one thing I want to quick say about the level design, I'll say Sky Sanctuary is probably one of the most linear level designs in the game because you just go to right, up, and then back to left. It's basically just go back and forth. It's pretty much linear. But this boss is is fucking genius. To me, this boss is far more satisfying than anything you did with Metal Sonic and Sonic CD. Yeah. I wish I wish in Sonic CD they would have given us a actual proper boss fight like this. You know, the level design reminds me of Jungle Zone from Sonic 1 on the Master System. I can see that a little bit, yeah. You know in Heroes, instead of the lame-ass story they gave us revolving around Neo Metal Sonic, I wish there would have been like a trifecta of normal Metal Sonic, Mecha Sonic as you can see here, and Silver Sonic all like teaming up or being rebuilt to take on Sonic Heroes. That would have been much more interesting. Well, those are my ideas anyway. And my idea was so terrible that the Sky Sanctuary decided to implode and crumble to dust. <laughs> we'll see you all next time for the finale of Sonic Free and Knuckles in a Death Egg Zone Doomsday combo platter, baby. Yeah, buddy. See you then.